Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel on this beautiful Monday night. I've got something I'm going to show you. It's a new product. It's not that new. These things exist. But a friend of mine made it, 3D printer, and he presented it to me the other day. And what is it? Wait to find out. So, those of you who guess, yes, it's a cord maker from a water bottle or from a drinking bottle or a a PET bottle actually. And this one right here, it's uh it's the first time I've ever used one of these. I've never used one before. So what you do is you have some blades on it in here, and you as you saw, and it sort of has some angles here, so you can put the bottle in. And so this first time I've never done it before, I'm sort of pulling the bottle through, and it's not really working for me. I don't know why. Something's on here. I sort of cut it, the bottom of the water bottle or the coke bottle here, spinning it through and it's cutting it it's doing the right thing but i don't know it's this here we go it's coming through now now it's coming out a little bit and let's see i'm trying to let's see if this works right here well it's spinning it's good so now it's working now i'm getting this cord just coming out of here now i've seen these things work a lot faster with people who put knives out this kind of like that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to pull this in my hand i want to see if this works i sort of help hold it on with my finger there we go it's working now so what it's doing is producing strips of this of the bottle here the PET and I'm able to pull it through keep on it it's staying it's got a, a certain it's actually it's cutting a good size here Ooh, the table's moving here and let's keep pulling okay and keep pulling and keep pulling so what we're doing is we're making some cordage from garbage, you know. I don't know if you've ever watched any of the videos, like Bear Grylls, the island, this kind of stuff. And you see them out on the island, there's all these water bottles that come up, this kind of stuff. Well, of course, you are not wouldn't be allowed to take this with you. But what you can do is you could uh, find bottles, and with a sharp knife, you can make yourself something like this right here. And you can make yourself some cordage. Now, of course, on the island, there's plenty of bamboo and other stuff that you can make cordage out of. You can process through. This right here, it actually is doing the job, actually. Look at this bottle. Just pulling it through. It's actually working. I'm pretty impressed because I couldn't figure out how to get this to do it in the very beginning. But it's making cordage. And pretty fast here. Look at that. Whoa. So, <laughs> a bottle. And there you go. Enough cordage right there to do some lashings. That kind of stuff like that. It's quite strong. This PET is. And uh, yeah, just take off the uh, the the, <laughs> the plastic paper stuff and get rid of that. But so there you go, it does work. It's making the right. It's doing the right thing. It's making bottles. So what I recommend is shoot. Yeah, why not? It's a good idea. Throw this in your kit. You know, if you're in an urban environment or if you're in an environment you don't have anything, and you want to make some cordage or you want to make some traps, or you need some some line to hold something up. There you go. It definitely does the job, so I definitely recommend it. Anyway, um, so give it a try. Uh, he he did he made this on a 3D printer, and uh, let me take this off. I had to sc I screwed it a little bit onto my desk right here. Nope, that's not the right one. Where's that? Here it is, right here. I screwed it onto my desk here, and there we go. Just just sort of this is a wooden desktop right here. It's, it's actually a work laminated work uh, table so anyway so so you can get a better idea how it looks you have the blade which you can actually unscrew from the back and these blades will pop right this right here pop out and you can change the blade or you can yeah so you can buy these blades in any of the hardware stores that kind of stuff so it's 3d printed and what's written, written on the back there mk2 custom he did it on, on a 3d printer and it's a pretty good idea not a bad idea it's, uh, yeah, I know that you can make these with people just they sort of plant a knife inside a piece of wood, uh, inside of a, a log or something, and they just pull it through. That works. This right here actually keeps it to a specific size, which is not bad. Anyway, first time I've ever tried this. I've never tried this before. I enjoy learning and doing new things. And this is not a bad, not a bad little tool here. It's pretty lightweight. You can easily keep it inside your car or whatever, you know, or inside your truck. Now, of course, these are, it says plastic, it's 3 printed, so... I'm sure it may have a a life to it, you know, or whatever. But uh, 
Um, he told me it took him six hours to print this on his on his machine. So that's a lot of time to print something up. But I, I have people I've shown it to. They're quite interested in it. So uh, anyway, I want to thank him for giving this to me. And I hope that this video does this, this justice. And as you've seen, it, it does work. It does make... It does make what it, what it says it's going to make, you know, so give it a try. Anyway, um, I'll ask him if he wants to, uh, me to put this at the bottom of the video. If not, I'll put it in, I'll put it in later and, uh, um, and, uh, yeah, try it out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, five minute video and you guys take care of yourselves. I hope to talk to you very soon. Bye.